I'm Will G. I'm co-founder and CEO of Balti Virtual. We're a software studio focused on building augmented and virtual reality experiences. We started Balti Virtual a little over seven years ago. My co-founder David and I have been working together for over 25 years now, going back to the video game industry. So we used to build PC, Xbox, commercial video games together. We just got excited about where this technology is going and how fast it's evolving. And it's a perfect fit for what we've been doing for the last 25 years. So we started Balti to really build on that. But we created an experience called Buddy Brawl. With this lens, we were trying to accomplish a couple of things. We wanted to build a real-time gaming experience. We wanted to bring in people's Bitmoji characters to represent them. And we wanted to build something fun and interesting that was unique to AR. One of the big things that we did early with this lens was we focused on not just having a game that you could play on a tabletop, but really this game would interact with you, with your phone, where you were. There were things coming at your phone. You're using your phone as a slingshot. And so we really wanted to, to lean into that. With Lens Studio, we used the connected lens feature first and foremost. That enables creators to have a lens that connects two friends on Snap live, two or more, and kind of share information in real time. The Bitmoji support has been really huge. Initially, we started this with the idea that we wanted to personalize the experience in some way, whether that's just putting your face on a robot character or you know, allowing you to pick colors and things like that. But having the ability to pull in a full 3D Bitmoji with props and you know, facial hair and hairstyle and everything just created the best possible player character for this game experience. Most of our company worked on this lens. It was about 10 people. For us, the development process started with a brainstorm. We sort of threw out every idea we could think of, of what could we build as a connected lens? What's an arcade experience that we can build? When we go to design an AR experience or game versus a traditional 2D game, we really look to focus on bringing out the best things that that platform offers. With AR specifically, it brings a couple of things. One, a really precise control input method. It's kind of moving around, giving you this almost magic remote into the world. It also creates a sense of wonder where you can mix the real world with the virtual world in a way that isn't possible in a 2D screen. So the future of gaming on Snapchat is really exciting. Got a huge number of users that are using augmented reality every day to connect with their friends, to express themselves. And now there's this idea that people can connect to game to be competitive, and it really feels like the sky's the limit. My favorite part of being in the Snap Lens Network is just the peer group of creative, engaged people, and also the support from Snap itself. When we have a technical question, when we're trying to do something completely new, We've had a lot of instances where someone will help us get exactly the answer we need when we need it. The SLN community connected us to a lot of great potential creators that we can work with and collaborate with. It's also given us a great platform to promote our work and show it off to the world. We always focus on spending less time polishing and fine-tuning up front and really just get something rough that people can play it with, they can iterate with, they can explore. And that's really given us the base of a great game to build on. Augmented reality opens up so many new dimensions of gameplay and creativity that we're still kind of scratching the surface of what's possible.